Hey, welcome to Fruit For Your Life. This is Ed Logan. I'm gonna be giving you an update on how the progress has been going for me. As you all can probably see by the thumbnail, I'm getting down there. Hey, stay tuned. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, once again, I thank you all so much for tuning in and watching my journey. It has really been a journey probably one of the greatest journeys of my life. Okay, so my blood pressure, as you all saw in my second day of the vlog, uh, and it may have been the third day, but my blood pressure was 188 over 122. So I wanna tell you what it is today. It is, I'm gonna read it to make sure I get it right. It is 115 over 68. So look how far I have come down with my blood pressure by eating majority fruits and produce as well. As many of you know, I do about 80%, 90, well, it was 90% fruit. Okay, and then I did about 10%. Well, now I changed that, I altered that a little bit. I do about 80% fruit now and about 20% produce because I do eat salads. Okay, so I'm not all fruit. This is what I would call myself. If somebody asked me, they say, hey, Ed, what are you? I would say I'm a fruitarian whole foodist, if that makes any sense. I'm a fruitarian, I eat majority fruit, but I also eat whole food. And that is what has been restoring my body. If you all saw, I was having neck problems, arm problems, um, forearms were hurting, my knuckles were hurting. I mean, I was having arthritis, something awful. Uh, and there was just a lot of things wrong with my body. I was retaining water. Um, and, you know, also it, it just affected my whole life. It, it was affecting how I was living, how I was doing my job. So all of those things went away. And I think if you remember about the seventh, eighth day, those things went away after about the first week. That's how good this is for your body. All right, so with my blood pressure, um, because I was uh, keeping track of my blood pressure, uh, we came up with a book and it is called Tracking Your Heart Health. So inside of here, for those of you who are, are just tuning in for the first time, um, I've, I've got um, a blood pressure poem for each day that you start, also your blood pressure for the morning and the evening, also, whether you were sitting down or standing up or laying down. Also, your mood of the day, how you did during the mood and also the amount of water. And you can take notes down here at the bottom. And I also gave you a directory about the blood pressure down here, all right? So my wife and I, we personally made this. You can purchase it on Amazon if you'd like. This is 90 days, this lasts you three months. So hate to do that, but it is true. We worked very hard, especially my wife. And I just want to give her credit for that. So it is on Amazon. There will be a link below for this. All right. So let's continue on. As many of you know, and, and I was talking to some of you all and y'all were saying, Hey, Ed, get rid of that belt. And I just can't do it. I can't get rid of my belt. So let me show you my belt. All right, here we are. So this is my belt. This is all of the holes. You see they're off-centered. All of the holes that I created for my belt. Okay, so when I first started, I was using the number three hole right here. This is when I first started. So then I went one, two, three, four, five. That was a new hole I had to make. Six, seven, eight nine, 10, 11, and 12, right up under there, 12. And so I wear this belt every day. Now many of you all are saying, get rid of it, but I'm telling you, I can't get rid of it because it's, it's my progress tracker. When I put my pants on in the morning, I'm putting my belt on y'all, it's the greatest feeling to watch where I came from. So I technically was, this right here was my waist, y'all. That's a big waist. And so I went from there all the way down to here. I'm gonna put this in the last hole, the one that I'm actually using right now. 
Um, and so now my waist is like this. So as you can see, this belt pretty much wraps around and I have to use the side loop on my pants to keep this thing in. So while I was getting there, you can imagine it was flopping out and hanging. I kept had, having to try to stick it in there, but you can see the progress of my belt. Hey, when you're doing this, hold on to things like that, okay? It, when, when you, if you happen to fall off of the wagon, which I pray none of you do, and I pray that I don't, because I'm still working on it. Um, hopefully you'll have those types of things to see where you have come from, all right? So don't get rid of those things. Hey, keep them as long as you want. My work pants, I still wear them. They're like super big. I can take my belt off, put my work pants on and let, let it go and they fall off of me. But I, that's just me. I'm just kind of weird like that. All right, now for the information you've been waiting for. Many of y'all know when I first started, I was 260 pounds, 260. I have reached 203 pounds. As you can see, I put it up there for you. So I have lost a total of 57 pounds in a matter of 90 days, 57 pounds. Listen, if I can do this, y'all, you can do it. Let me tell you one of the bad things about it. This is the only downside to this is I was supposed to work out every day. And I'm gonna be honest with you, I work 14 hours a day. So if I start driving at three o'clock in the morning, my job isn't done until five o'clock in the afternoon. If I start driving at seven o'clock in the morning, my job is not over until nine o'clock at night. So that's a lot of hours. And when I get done, I'm editing videos. I'm trying to get the thumbnails. I mean, it's a lot of stuff to do and I have to eat. Sometimes I actually will forget to eat because I'm working on my video and stuff. And you know, the days that I do have uh, time to do it, I will exercise. But for the most part, it was like null and void because I was just so busy doing everything else. So you're looking at a truck driver, number one, sitting in front of a steering wheel all day, unless I was chaining down my load all day long, y'all. 11, At least 11 hours minimum a day, I'm doing this sitting down, not doing a thing, sedentary. With a sedentary job, in 90 days, I lost 57 pounds eating nothing but fruit and produce. Fruit and produce, meaning salads. So look at the amount of weight that I lost. I, I hope that this inspires you and tells you you can do it. Now imagine if you have a job where you're on the go. You're working in a factory and you're, you're on the go. You're gonna lose so much more weight than me because I'm sedentary and you are not. So once again, 260 to 203, I'm fired up. Now my goal, as many of you know, is 190 pounds. So when I reach that goal, I, that's my personal goal. So I'm 13 pounds away from that. I haven't weighed 203 since I was in high school. When I graduated from the State Police Academy and I lost a lot of weight, I was 215 pounds when I came out. I'm below that. No working out. When I was in the State Police Academy, listen, ran every morning, exercised every morning, lift weights every day. I mean, it, I mean, ran three miles a day every day. And so I came out at 215, probably had a little more muscle then. But today at my weight, I'm less than that by doing nothing, driving. So I'm saying all of this, trying not to, you know, make it too long, but if I can do it, you can do it. Probably so much better, y'all. So please, if you're thinking about do it, hey, get to it and do it. And for those of you who are, I've talked to who are in it now, you've been doing it for like 20 days or so, hey, stick with it. You're going to experience the same thing as me, even, better all right so this has been a life change for me you know when i was on the uh when i was growing up i wanted to be a state trooper that was my dream and i would say that when i did that that was the pinnacle of my life besides getting married that was a pinnacle of my life well i'm telling you what this is better this is better because this is going to allow me to keep living this is going to allow me to live a long life unless some unforeseen thing came 
comes. I, I'm going to live a long life like this because I've gotten the fat. Now I'm working on the visceral fat around my stomach. That's what holds the toxins. That's the hardest part for you to lose. And for you brothers, you men. Now I'm going to say this and I have the right to say this. I didn't have this issue. However, I talked to many of you brothers. You're having a problem with ED, erectile dysfunction. This will clear every bit of that up. You eat you some red fruit, red cherries, red strawberries, pomegranates, whatever is red, watermelon, you eat that, give yourself a couple of weeks, I'll guarantee 10 days, I bet you it'll be over. I'm not a doctor, so I'm not prescribing whatsoever. I'm giving you my experience, I'm dealing with fruit. All right, so brothers that I'm talking to, try it and see if it works out for you all right hey thank you so much for joining as you can see i'm overly excited and i can't help it that's just what it does to me um, but i hope that you all really decide to make this decision it will be a life-changing decision once you start to see that weight come off of you no doubt hey your wife will love it wives your husbands will love it and single people best thing you can do for yourself if you're looking for a spouse the best thing that you can do is take that weight off so that they'll look at you all right hey if you guys have any questions or a comment please leave it in the comment section and for those of you this is your first time watching this listen put in the comment section that you are if you subscribe to my channel put in the comment section that you are going to subscribe to my channel or that you did subscribe and I personally want to thank you for subscribing you deserve to hear that from me a thanks for me all right hey you all take care I do have more videos that are going to be coming out uh, they're going to be along the lines of uh, the God of your stomach please go back and watch that video um, it is an issue it is the, your stomach can be a God to you and I put it more in a sense of there is a God in your stomach. So go back and watch that video because I'm going to help getting ready to have more videos like that coming out. It's at least four different videos that I'm going to have coming out talking about your stomach. It's so important that we get this down. Hey, again, thanks for joining me. Hey, love you guys. Hey, for those of you who just came on today. Hey, I hope I get to know you as well. You all take care. Bye bye. See you on the next video.